you're here to worship Almighty God with us, and on behalf of the station, it is my joy to welcome each one of you and thank you for being a very special part of our worship service on this, the Lord's Day. I'd like to sit on the inside row to find there the maroon folder. Inside of it is our fellowship pad. If you take a moment to sign that, ask one of the other good folks who are sitting there with you. As it comes back to your pew, please note those names and greet each other in a personal way at the end of our worship service this morning. We welcome all of our visitors today, and it's a great help for us if you would include an address or a phone number, an email address, some way that we might be back in touch with you to affirm the fact that you're with us on this first Sunday in Advent. And a very special welcome to those who worship with us today and are seeking a church home in this community. We'd be honored to explore that possibility with you. If there's a place to indicate that desire on the fellowship pad, or feel free to speak with me or one of our elders at the end of the worship service this morning. Back in December, it was the, excuse me, back in November, it was the joy of the session to meet with John and Ann Bigner and to hear their request to be part of this church family. They are with us this morning. You'll see a little bit more information about them in the um, bulletin, so read about that. I invite Ann and John to stand at their seat, and I will carry this certificate of membership back, and we'll be able to put names and faces together. And I hope they'll also stand with the tea there at the door as you leave this morning. You can extend them in the right hand of fellowship. But welcome back to your Thanksgiving journey. And we look forward to working with you. God bless you. You'll notice in the bulletin today that we have two inserts. One has the choir's anthem on it. Once on the first side of that hope be our light. We look forward to that anthem this morning. It will fit well with T's message to us today. And we especially thank Molly Frederick, who is filling in for our director of music, Barry Almond, who is home nursing a cold. And we pray that he will have full help by this time next Sunday when the choir will be sharing their cantata with us. The other insert is a first reminder about the upcoming Christmas joy offering. The person that's highlighted here is uh, a person that I've had a chance to meet a couple of times in my life. Back earlier this year on Consecration Sunday, we had the first female Lumbee Indian minister of the ordained by Christian Church USA as our Consecration Sunday preacher. Helen Lockley was a gift to us that day. Well, Katie Geneva Cannon is a gift to the entire church. She died this past fall. But she was a very lively spirit, and she was the first African-American female ordained to the Christian Church USA. She was also a professor at Union Seminary, where he is doing his work. And so, hope you'll read a little bit about her, get involved in how you can know more about the Christmas Joy Offering when that time comes. I think that the children will be hearing a little more about these boxes at the time of children this morning, but those boxes will be available to them as they begin collecting for their Christmas joy gifts. Speaking of Christmas joy, this afternoon at 4 o'clock, everyone is invited back to our fellowship hall for the song fest. This is a wonderful way that on the first Sunday of Advent we get things started as we share some traditional Christmas songs as well as some religious Christmas hymns and get together for a special time of feasting and fellowship. There will be some refreshments provided. And once again this year, the Sundance liturgical dancers will be here to grace us with their gift. So please come back to the Fellowship Hall at 4 o'clock this afternoon for song events. A week from tomorrow, on Monday, December the 10th, we will be having our last blood drive for this year. Our church will be hosting it in the Fellowship Hall on Monday afternoon, December the 10th. You can go to redcross.org and make a reservation for that particular blood drive. Just enter in the zip code of our church and it will pop up the times that are available. You can pick a time to fit your schedule and you won't have to wait too long to share that glorious gift of life. Remind those who have picked up one of the tags from the Brunswick Family Assistance Tree of Hope that those gifts, unwrapped gifts, are due back in the narthex by next Sunday morning, the 9th of December. Some of you have already returned yours and will return them any day this week, but the deadline is next Sunday, the 9th of December. Hope that everybody has already had a chance to pick up a copy of the Advent Devotional. 
It's entitled This Year God Lifts the Lowly. And it begins today, on December the 2nd, the first day in Advent. There's a Sunday devotional as well as one for each day during the week. So please be along with your church family as we pray together and wait faithfully for the birth of Christ as well as Christ's promised return. These are available on the bench in the narthex. As part of our call to worship this morning, we'll be sharing in the singing of hymn number 85. This will be done each Sunday during Advent. There are four verses to this hymn entitled, Light One Candle to Watch for Messiah. When that time comes, Randy will uh, play through it once, and we'll sing the first verse. Next Sunday, we'll sing the second verse, and so on throughout the season. But have your hymnal open to page uh, 85 for that hymnal. Light One Candle at least will be part of, or incorporated into our call to worship. We now look to T World for that help. To help with that, I'd like to invite the Zimmermans up. We're going to light our first candle of that event.
This is the day the Lord hath made.
in your house on this first Sunday in Advent, we thank you for the opportunity to sing your praises, to hear your word, to make our offerings. We ask, O oh God, that you receive and use these gifts right here within our own community, but by your magnifying power, let them reach around the world to share the gift of hope with those who might feel hopeless this day, the gift of love with those who are seeking that treasured gift that we too often take for granted. Thank you, God, for the blessings of all of life. Help us to become a blessing in this community where you've given us the joy of serving. In Christ's name, we make our gifts to you. Amen. Please be seated. <coughs> if the children would please come forward, we'll have a conversation. How are y'all doing this morning? I have a couple of questions for you. Was curious how your life related to mine. Was wondering if everything always worked out perfectly for you. <laughs> so not all the time everything goes exactly the way you hoped. <laughs> no? Can you tell me something that uh, didn't work out the way that you were hoping to? different would work out, and it doesn't work out that way. Sometimes things hurt. We injure ourselves. We sprain our ankles. Or we get sick. But um, when we feel that things are not going the way that they're supposed to go, the way that we might have planned it out in our head, we can find comfort in that there is hope that God will help correct these mistakes. So, when we feel like something in life is not fair, we need to pray about it. Talk to our friends and our family, and remember that God is making things better. God has told us that the whole creation is being made new. And we are all going to be a part of a better future. God has given us the gift of hope. Uh, before we have an echo prayer, I wanted to talk about these a little bit. We've got some little boxes for you to take home. So these boxes are little banks that you can put some money in for a collection for the Christmas Joy Offering. Do you know anything about the Christmas Joy Offering? Have you ever heard of the Christmas Joy Offering? Yeah. You remember it from last year? Any idea what it's for? What are we collecting money for for this particular offering? Very good. This offering is going to help the leaders of the church, all of the different types of leaders, whether it's the music leaders, the youth leaders, the pastors like John, the missionaries like we support in Bangladesh, all of the people that the, the church helps in retirements and continuing education, 
and helping to support the leadership of the church. So here's an opportunity for you to collect some coins, to get some money, and bring it back to give a special offering for the leaders. On December 23rd. So let's close with an echo prayer. Dear God, thank you for hope. We trust you to keep your promise that we will be a new creation with justice and righteousness. Amen.